Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn how to draw flowchart to reverse given number or given digit. Flowchart is a graphical representation of solved problem. Flowchart is start with start statement. It is writing within a oval shape. Next, we have to read input values. Input values is always writing within a parallelogram shape. Within that, we have to read. Here, we have to reverse a given number, right? So, here we have to read n value. Next, initially, reverse is equal to 0, right? So, here we have to declare. reverse is equal to 0 next declaration is done within a rectangular shape next we have to do calculations calculation is done within a rectangular shape first we have to find reminder 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 is equal to n module 10 here n module 10 means we have to find remainder of n divided by 10. Next we have to find reverse. Formula is reverse is equal to reverse into 10 plus remainder. This is the formula to find reverse of a number. Reverse is equal to REV represent reverse is equal to REV into 10 plus reminder value next n n divided by 10 next we have to find n value that is using formula n is equal to n divided by 10 this is the formula this is the calculation to find the reverse value here for example consider here n is equal to 1 2 3 initial reverse is equal to 0 here we have to find first we have to find reminder Reminder is equal to n module 10. Here, n module 10 means what is the reminder here? here? 3, right? Here, reminder is 3. Next, we have to calculation calculate reverse value. Reverse is equal to reverse into 10. Initially, reverse is equal to 0, right? 0 into 10, it becomes 0 plus reminder. That is 3 value. Reminder becomes 3. Next, we have to find n value. n is equal to n divided by 10. 1 n value will 123 divided by 10 what is the remainder value that is 12 right sorry remainder not division value that is 12 right 12 next here we have to put condition if n value if n value is greater than 0 Comparison is done within a diamond shape. If n value is greater than 0, if this condition is true, we have to repeat this calculation again. If n value is greater than 0, here yeah, n value is 12, right? It means greater than 0. It again goes to this calculation. Again, it will calculate reminder is equal reminder is equal to what is the reminder n module 10 here n value become 12 right n module 10 what is the reminder here 2 right here reminder is 2 next we have to calculate reverse value reverse is equal to reverse into 10 what is the reverse value reverse value is 3 right 3 into 10 30 here already we calculated no reverse value 3 3 into 10 that become 30 plus reminder that is 2 it become 32 next it will calculate n value n is equal to n divided by 10 what is the n value n value is 12 right n divided by 10 our answer is what is the answer 1 right 1 if n value is greater than 0, it means 1 greater than 0. It's true. It again go, going to here calculation method and calculate reminder. Reminder it become n module 10. n module means 1. 
1 module 10 means what is the reminder here? 1, right? 1. Next we have to calculate reverse value. Reverse is equal to reverse into 10. Reverse value is 32. 32 into 10, 320. Plus uh, reminder, that is 1. It becomes 3, 2, 1. This is the reverse value. Next we have to calculate n value. Sorry, n value. n is equal to n divided by 10. That is 1 divided by 10 equal to 0 right if n value is it is less than 0 right so equal to 0 so it come out of the loop it is a false statement if n greater than 0 it is equal no n, n value is 0 so it become equal so it come come out of this loop false statement here we have to print reverse value Output value is always writing within a parallelogram shape. So we have to draw parallelogram shape. Within that we have to write reverse value. Next we have to stop the flowchart using stop statement. So guys this is the flowchart to find to reverse given number flowchart it is start with start statement next we have to read n value next we have to declare reverse is equal to zero here input and output values is always writing with within a parallelogram shape next we have to declare reverse value reverse is declaration is done within a rectangular sorry rectangular shape declaration is declare declare reverse is equal to zero is done within a rectangular shape next we have to calculate Reminder is equal to n module 10. Reverse is equal to reverse into 10 plus reminder. Next n is equal to n divided by 10. This is done within a rectangular shape. Next if n value greater than 0. If this condition is true. It is going to this method. Calculation method again. Comparison is done within a diamond shape. If this condition is false. It is going to print the reverse value. Output is writing within a parallelogram shape. Next we have to stop the algorithm using stop statement. So guys this is the flowchart to reverse given number or digit given digit. If you like my video please like and subscribe it. Thank you for watching. All the best.